My name is Rihanna Carey. I work for Mountain Ops. I've been with them for about the past three years now, and I feel super fortunate and lucky because working for them, obviously they're coming in the hunting space, the outdoor industry. I love to hunt, and it's really given me the opportunity to do what I love and and go on cool hunts. Um, most jobs you have to ask for, you know, a week off for these really cool hunts. I also love hunting September and turkeys and all the things, and so you can only take so much time off. But when you can kind of wrap it up into what you're doing for a profession, um, then more power to you. I feel super blessed and lucky. Oryx is a super cool animal that's actually from Africa and um, they were transplanted here back in the 1980s from Africa. Uh, they were part of an arms trade deal with New Mexico and so uh, they put them on the New Mexico base here. It's the missile, long missile range I think that they shoot from Nevada and uh, they just thrived. The opportunity for this hunt actually came through my friend um, Braxton Byers. It's actually one of my best friend's husbands who guides for LOH Outfitters. He guides for elk, he doesn't guide for oryx. So when I drew the oryx tag, I was asleep in bed, it was like seven in the morning, the results had just come out and Braxton's calling me, Jess is calling me. I wake up, I'm like, oh, I've missed calls from both of them. I'm like, I, something's wrong, what ha what's going on, what happened? So I immediately called Jess back and she goes, um, what are you doing? And I was like, uh, sleeping? And she said, you just drew a New Mexico Forks tag and they are so hard to draw. Congratulations, so excited for you. Uh, obviously Hunt and Fool, they get all the draw results before anyone else. And so I was freaking stoked, I was pumped. She goes, yeah, so the hunt is in like a month and a half. You drew it for June of this year. Holy smokes, oh my gosh, I have so much going on in June. But uh, I was super excited to make it work. Uh, Brennan Rosales, I work for Love of the Hunt Outfitters here in New Mexico. Uh, I guide for uh, Oryx, uh, Bighorn Sheep, Elk, Pronghorn, uh, Mule Deer, and Barbary Sheep um, all over the state. This week we're taking Rihanna Carey um, on an off-range Oryx hunt here in New Mexico. Off-range oryx hunts uh, pretty much range statewide. Anywhere uh, in the state that's uh, not inside the White Sands Missile Range boundaries. This type of free range hunt um, is pretty unique uh, being that uh, you know these oryx, uh, they travel so far um, in you know, day to day. Um, it's, they're not like a deer or an elk where you can pattern them. They're so unpredictable and that makes them really fun to hunt as far as being the, an animal that you can hunt all day. Well, it's hard, they're really hard to see and it's super windy and it's very flat. And basically they look exactly like the train. So luckily we have him because he's knows what to look for, but holy cow. This is definitely harder than I thought. Yeah, so uh, that that's a shooter it is. oryx for sure. Okay. Um, He's moving, you know, kind of good a good direction away from the wind. So if we can kind of stay out out ahead of him, um, we should be able to keep the wind right to get move in close enough for a shot with the wind. Hopefully. And he's heading towards the range right now, so we kind of got to be cognizant of that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to. Uh, we're gonna have Intercept to kind of him. move a little bit quick. Um, okay. Hopefully this this terrain over here will give us enough cover that we need to slip in between him and the range and okay. and uh, put a move on him. Sweet! We saw two broken antlered bulls um, so far this morning 
And so this one is a shooter. He looks really good and he's what symmetrical and kind of I'm all straight and not missing any. They're horns, right? They're yep. horns. Yep, yeah, horns. Spiral yeah. horned. We put in some freaking work to get out here. We've been out here all damn day. It's already one o'clock and we've literally been out here chasing these things around all morning. <laughs> I know. I mean, I felt pretty good. Still not 100% stable, but... I w it sounded weird to me. That second shot sounded a lot better, but that first one did not... It didn't sound... All, I, I felt like the first shot was better than, like, I was more solid. Well, and then the second one, I just was like a Hail Mary trying to hit him. Yeah. the gun range. I'm just shooting um, this gun. This is actually a borrowed rifle from my girlfriend Amanda. I um, did not make it home before I came on this trip and so I just borrowed her rifle. Well, I think probably what happened is I stocked up to the Oryx and definitely was belly crawling and I think I probably got some some sand in the barrel. Um, it was also so hot. It's been like 90 degrees. And so the barrel was super warm to the touch as well. So we're just gonna shoot it just to make sure I'm good and that I don't need to use um, Brennan's gun. So um, hopefully it was just a little bit of sand. We, when we heard the shot, it was definitely sounded um, not like a normal gun shot. So um, we'll see, hopefully all is good and I can use this gun. And if not, then yeah, we'll, we'll know. So they're going from right to left now, and like kind of going up that hillside. What do you think the play is? We should get on the other side of them. Okay. There's. If we go down here, we'll hit another road that takes us back, get it downwind from them, and make our move coming there's, up to them. There's some big ones in there. There is. There's some really nice ones in there. Okay. Well, let's go freaking knock one down. Let's do it. That sounds good. I ended up getting it done at 350 yards. Um, there was an oryx, he was solo by himself. We were actually on our way to another herd of about nine, and there were some bruisers in there, but um, we were on our way to that herd, and uh, we saw this guy, he was just solo, and you know, when there's not 20 eyeballs looking at you, it's a lot better odds. So we decided to put the move on him. Um, we got to about 300 yards, and um, he winded us and so he was definitely looking looking around and you know I, I, I took kind of a quick shot but it ended up being great one shot he was down which is always awesome and exciting so yeah freaking stoked they're absolutely gorgeous animals I mean if I could shoot an animal like that every year in the United States, not have to go to Africa, I would. I'm kind of sad that the kudu didn't make it here, honestly. Um, but there's always Ibex and Barbary sheep, so that's on my list next.
I loved the experience I had with Love of Hunting um, outfitting. Brandon Rosales here in New Mexico and Hunt and Fool, if you guys, if you guys don't put in with Hunt and Fool, then you are missing out, let me tell you, because they honestly, I mean, they put me in for everything. I wouldn't draw anything if it weren't for them because I am so busy, I do not have time to know when every state deadline is, know all the rules and regs, and they even point you in the right direction of where to go hunting. So, yeah, 